Today, I'm going to go ahead and photograph and show you how to disassemble the Harman Kardon Invoke. Uh, this is the latest entry from Microsoft using Cortana as a digital assistant to compete against the likes of Google Home as well as Alexa from Amazon. Now, I have to say I have both. I do have a Google Home and I do have Amazon Alexa. I'm a connoisseur of these type of devices because I find them interesting. I'm an engineer myself, so I find what these devices do entertaining. What I also like to do is take a look at the innards of these devices. As I said before, I'm an engineer, so I understand uh, what it takes to actually release a product to market, the effort, effort that needs to go into it, the planning, the manufacturing, all the design work. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of time that this thing probably took closer to two years in development and getting everything ready to get shipped. And within two years, technology moves forward. So oftentimes in devices that look futuristic, the actual guts, well, they're not always futuristic, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, one thing I'm curious to see is how this looks to the Amazon Alexa, as well as the Google Home, the technology that they use, the, the bits and chips, I like to call them, on the inside, to see what the quality of the build is, um, and just to see what's going on. A second part that I'm also doing, this will be part two of this video. As you can see, I've already done this once before and I created a slight mod to the Harman Kardon Invoke. And this is my biggest pet peeve with this device. It is a disposable income device. A disposable income device that's meant to be as a personal assistant to integrate with your everyday. So if you have a larger home, and you don't always stay in your home in one room the whole time and you have disposable income, having a speaker that's not transportable isn't, first, a good thing. Second, not being able to use this device to transmit audio to, let's say, a Bluetooth speaker or a Bluetooth receiver. For example, I want to go ahead and hook this up to a whole house audio system. Can't do it. There's no output from this device that it can connect up to external speakers or external devices. This device cannot act as a transmitter currently as of today, which I think is December 30th. Um, it cannot act as a transmitter. Therefore, you can't pair it with a Bluetooth speaker or a Bluetooth receiver or anything else that receives Bluetooth audio. You could transmit to this where this is the speaker, but you can't use this as a speaker. There's no line outputs on the bottom like the Echo Dots and the Google Homes. There's, there's no line output, therefore you can't connect this thing to like an external amplifier or anything else like that. It is in itself a speaker. And that's it. Very disappointing. It's a very short sightedness on the engineers at Harman Kardon. I like to believe that the actual guys working on this were yelling at the system engineers saying, guys, we need to be able to connect this thing to external devices outgoing. Yes, it's a speaker, but we also need to be able to connect it to external Bluetooth speakers. For example, you have this set in your kitchen. Let's say you have a patio and you want to go well, sit on your patio and listen to music. Sorry, different room, can't hear it. Either you got to turn this thing way up and you hear this big echo, or you got to unplug it and move it to the patio, unplug it, move it back in the house, unplug it, move it into your living room, unplug it, move it to your bedroom. It's ridiculous. It's it's asinine. Talk about totally missing the target market, a feature for the target market. It's almost like someone that says, you know what, we should have a volume control on this. Set volume, ah, who needs volume? Nobody needs volume. Well, that's what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. This will be part one. Part two, I'm actually showing you the mod that I'm doing in order to connect this up to my whole house audio system. And then part three will be actually putting it into the whole house audio system and see how it works.